is called folate in five. What is about the importance of folate as a nutrient in pregnancy, especially in later of life pregnancy? So what is folate? Well, basically, it is a class of B vitamins that is water soluble in nature, so it's not stored in the body and uh, synthetically it, it is produced um, and when it's uh, when it's in that form as a vitamin it's called folate acid so the vital it's actually vital for uh, pregnancy development the development of the fetus especially especially for older women you know or, or um, to avoid uh, miscarriages and also nor tube defect, um, which is also known as a spina bifida. Um, where it's found, it's found in leafy green vegetables, it's found in carrots, um, liver, avocados, whole grains as well. The thing about liver though, that's a food that's A in the UK, it's not actually recommended for women who are pregnant because of the high content of vitamin A, it can be damaging uh, to the baby. Um, but otherwise uh, it's found in all those other sources as well as supplementation. So if you're if the thing about um, fi finding on the natural source, you never you never to you're never aware of how much you're taking in. Um, in the UK, um, for for those planning to become pregnant, it is recommended that you have at least 400 milligrams a day prior to conception, and at least three months after you've conceived. So during the pregnancy, and um, that's why supplementation is a uh, it's good because then at least you know how much uh, folate or folic acid you're actually consuming. Um, for other women within um, reproductive years, say 19 to 50, uh, it's half that amount, it's 200 milligrams a day. So it's still an important nutrient, but obviously it's more so if you are planning to, planning to conceive. So um, in summary, adequate uh, folate consumption has been shown to reduce the risk of neural tube defects in pregnancy. It's uh, particularly important for mature women because they may be at greater risk. And that's probably because uh, as we get older, we don't process vitamins as efficiently as we did when we were younger. Um, also, within the UK, supplementation of 400 milligrams of folic acid is recommended for women who are trying to conceive and for those who are pregnant for up to 12 weeks. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe. Uh, this is just a short disclaimer to say that this presentation is for nutritional purposes only. It is not intended to diagnose any condition. Further research is re recommended to assist you in, in making an informed decision regarding your health. If you have a pre-existing medical condition, please consult your GP or healthcare professional before making any changes to your regime. Thank you uh, to your wellness. Thank you.